Hi guys, welcome back to uh, Ghost Paranormal Scientific Family. Um, as we've got lovely white snow outside today and the fact that I won't be travelling anywhere because my car's not good in the snow, I thought that we'd do a little sort of talk about feathers and their meanings. Uh, what we normally get is your angels will send you feathers as subtle messages because of the fact that they don't want to be imposing on you um, by fitting themselves through as physical forms because to most people, if you're not used to spirit, it's quite scary for them to come through and present themselves in physical bodies. Um, normally you'll get like the orbs and stuff like that. But if you're not trained by the naked eye, then what they'll do is they'll send you something that the eye will recognise. Now, um, feathers is quite a common uh, sign and not many people do pick up on this. Um, but today I'm going to talk to you about the different colours, the different meanings um, and why your angels will send them to you. Uh, today we're going to start off with the white feather. Now this is sent as um, protection, purification and spirituality. Uh, your angels are letting you know that they're around you and they're protecting you in your situation at the moment. Um, if you feel that you're in a bit of a bad situation, then normally your angels will fetch you white feathers to tell you that they're with you and protecting you with every decision that you make. And I do like the idea that, um, you know, it's said that the white feathers fall from the uh, wings of angels, which I think is quite sweet, to be fair. Um, I, I see white feathers quite often. Uh, they're the most common to be found. Um, normally what you'll find is, is that you'll be walking down the street and you'll see feathers. Um, normally the whiter, the crisper, the more the higher level of protection that you're under. Sometimes they may be grubby, like maybe like sort of tucked down by a bin, a bit in dust and that. But don't take it that because it's a bit grubby that it's not a sign of protection because um, your angels will send you uh, the feather colours regardless of what state or condition they may be in on the floor. Um, so yeah, if you see white feathers, this is a sign of protection mainly. So let so know that your angels are around you and protecting you. When you see this, also you can ask for the angels to protect you with white light. So surround yourself with white light. Um, ask your angels to uh, give you a boundary of protection around you, which normally this is a sign that they're doing. Uh, the next feather I'd like to go to um, is the black feather. Now, this is normally seen in times of crisis and basically your angels are telling, the, telling you that you need to find some strength and that they're giving you strength to find strength. Um, you may already be having problems and it's saying to you to recognise these problems and to find some strength to deal with these. Um, the next feather uh, that I'd like to go to, I've got two different colours here, so we've got a stronger yellow and a fainter yellow. I don't know whether or not you can see that there's a little bit of difference between the two colours. Now the reason I'm showing the two colours is because it doesn't matter whether it's strong colour or fainter colour, but the stronger the colour the more that the angels are giving you. Now this, uh, the yellow colour is congratulations, things are going well right now and also intelligence. So it's saying that whatever you're doing, that uh, it, it's working well. Um, yellow is also a sign of new beginnings. So this may be a change. It may be a, um, a new job. Um, it may be a new relationship. It may mean that um, there's better things coming your way. Um, keep an eye out for the yellow because the yellow is one of the most positive colours in all the spectrums because of fact it is a sign of new beginning. So if you're going through a bit of a cagey stage or if you're going through a bit of a moment that you think that you're stuck, it maybe it's time for new beginnings. Maybe there's something that's, you know, new beginnings that need to be put into place to be able to make these changes. Um, the next feathers that we've got, if I can get them to unstick from my sweaty fingers, um, is also pink. We've got the same again. I've done two lovely different colours. So you've got the subtler colour and also the darker colour. Now, I will represent, um, you know, will explain that the colours with the pink actually are quite significant. So the stronger the pink, um, the stronger the angels love. Now, this is the symbol of love being sent to you from your angels. Um, and they're also telling you that they're getting involved with whatever fun's going on in your life at that time. So it's saying that uh, 
that basically they're enjoying the situation at the moment they're having fun if you find like the subtler colors that means that they're sending you a little bit of love if they're sending you the darker colors and they're sending you a lot of love um this is completely different to the red love so this is a love of like compassion um love of like telling you that they're enjoying to be with you enjoying the fun around you and also having fun and love um sent to you via these colors um the next color we've got is blue and this is a uh, time for calm and peace um walk by water and, med and meditation is good so it means that you need to get out of your surroundings you need to basically be one with nature um be more psych psychic aware as well so it means to bring more psychic awareness into your life so maybe doing some more psychic work uh, maybe looking into more messages that are coming to you spiritually from your angels um i get with this also keeping out for like the signs of the robins the angels and things like that um for me uh the color blue is also a sign of um protection as well and it's a sign from archangel michael which is basically saying that he's fighting all demons um and that the fact that you need to find more peace and calm in your life to be able to bring tranquility so where it says about um being near water medica meditation basically it's saying to you to take yourself out into a more peaceful calm state of mind um be at more peace with yourself um walking up the water um side you'll probably find more feathers so it's quite interesting whilst you're out on your walks to have a look at what your angels are saying to you if you see the blue and you start doing walking you might start seeing the white feathers where the white feathers are saying that what you're doing is bringing you more protection it's bringing you healing um for me the blue uh pops up quite often i do see quite a lot of blue feathers um and for me i know that it's also a sign of healing so uh whatever stress is going on in my life whatever calm and protection i need i know that it's being given to me on a stronger level um we're now going to go to red now this is about passion and love um matters of the heart and giving you courage now for me the red represents two different levels now the, depending on the level of the darkness of red um if you look at the spectrum of colors on their own without it being a feather you've got two different meanings with the color red so you've got one coming from the heart so it's about love and you've also got about anger so um, for me the stronger the red means that you may be needing to calm some situations for the love and passion to be stronger um also uh, dep depending on what your mind's thinking at the time so if you're thinking like um you know i want to know if my spirit loves me if my spirit is thinking of me and you see a color of this darkness then basically your spirit is saying to you i love you deeply if you're thinking of love as in a relationship or things going the right way with love then also the strong uh, color of red represents the the um that the relationship's going well and that you know you can trust in going into deeper into your relationship and giving more open heart into the relationship um normally the red of anger uh, if you see that then you know you need to recognize that maybe things are a little bit sort of um you know touchy and that maybe you need to suppress more love to be able to get a better outcome um red for me is very passionate and loving um obviously you see red on valentine's day um so yeah a lot of it to be fair with with the red is is based on love and being more open with your heart being letting your heart be more open and also receiving love from your, from your angels if you're in a time of despair or time of need of love from your angels and this is this is your angels telling you i'm with you i love you and i love you and i and strongly love you <coughs> um we're now going to green now green is a sign of healing um a sign of money coming to you and also a sign of fertility so there's so many different levels with this green although it looks more blue than green but it is actually green um 
where it comes in on the healing basis, if you see it and you're in, uh, not very well or in you're in need of any mental healing, mental health, um, maybe you might have had a cold. This is telling you that you're healing yourself and that the angels are healing you. Um, if you're in need of money, if there's a situation where... Um, you know, you need some money to be able to pay your bills, maybe you're worrying about money, um, then it's something that you need to look into, like, basically, if you get green, your angels are sending you money, they will send you what you need to cover your expenses. Normally, um, you know, when people think about money, they think, oh, I'm going to win the lottery, there's going to be loads of money sent to me. No, what your angels are saying is, is that they will send you enough to cover what you need. Um, when it comes to fertility, so if you're trying to get pregnant or you're thinking about childbirth um, or in your in a position of child pregnancy, keep an eye out for it because the fact that the colour green states that um, it will help you with fertility, but there's some healing that may be needing to be done. So maybe you're trying to rush a pregnancy. Maybe the pregnancy is not going as well as planned. Maybe you need to do some healing with yourself. Maybe take more better care of yourself, your diet. Um, maybe like looking at your diet would be a good thing. I know with a lot of people, um, if they're trying to get pregnant with a girl, they say to eat more fruit and veg, and then you're more likely to have a girl. Um, if you're wanting a boy to eat more savory, like cheese, um, you know, eggs, much stronger flavors. Um, but mainly the, the color green to me is definitely a sign of healing. So it's saying that you need some do some healing in your in your lifestyle to be able to bring through all the other um, aspects that I've just mentioned. Um, we have grey. If I can get these feathers to stop sticking to my fingers. Now this is grey. It has got a little bit of white on it. Unfortunately, it was the best grey feather I could find. Um, Grey is working on problems so and bringing peace and being patient. So if you're out and about and you, you're stressed, you've got a lot going on in your life, you've got a lot going on that you're unsure about. Um, the fact that this has got a little bit of white on it, um, if the angels bring you the grey and white, it's basically saying to deal with a problem, but they're also protecting you around that problem. Pardon me, sorry, I do apologise. The more white that's um, on the feather, the more protection that's being given at the time of this. Um, it does mean to be uh, to bring peace. So this could be that they're bringing peace to you or you need to bring more peace to yourself. This is a time for maybe some quiet time, some reflection. Jump in the bath if you need to, put some candles on, have yourself some quiet time. Um, and just basically, like, just think about your problems. Think about, like, what you could do to make things better for yourself. Um, a lot of things uh, basically have a simple solution to them. It just means that you've got to sit back, recognise the problem and be like, right, OK, what brings me closer to my you know to my goal what takes me further from it um <coughs> do apologize sorry um angels normally i mean when you're out and about you're you're more likely to see the gray feathers to be fair and the white feathers and this is because of the fact that a lot of people are working with problems especially in this day and age there are a lot more social problems a lot more problems with society uh, we have a lot more stress a lot more financial difficulties but no if you see the gray that uh, it's helping you to deal with the problems and also the level of white that you see with it is is protection to let you know that your angels are helping you deal with this problem uh, the next one we've got is brown now this is to do with health stability and grounding uh, do more with mother nature now as you can see it is brown but it, the light that I'm using to try and uh, make the video a bit brighter for you to see is also reflecting some white as well now the white is protection so it may be that um, you know, whilst you're going through um, this health and stability and grounding, you need to be put in surrounding yourself with a little bit of protection. So ask your angels for the white light around you um, for protection of white light. Um, it also states with the brown to do more with Mother Nature, um, do more walks in the country and 
out in the countryside, in the trees, the fields, somewhere alone, not around other people. What you're doing with this is you're helping to heal your mind. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on up here that need to be addressed. Um, it doesn't mean that, like, because the fact it's brown, it's quite subtle. Um, it basically means that you you need to do this on a spiritual level. So just basically freeing your mind um, is basically about going out and being in a situation where all the troubles and strifes that you've got at home, you can just forget. You're not out to look at the troubles and strifes. You're looking at the birds, the bees, the trees, the flowers, Take in the countryside, take in the nature, heal yourself by using nature to bring that healing to you. Uh, the next one we've got, we've got two different types of orange, uh, two different colours of orange, sorry. So we've got a dark and a light. So the same thing as we said before, the darker basically means that the stronger message from your angels have been sent to you. If it's more subtler, then it means that it's on a more subtler level. Now, oranges love coming your way. Um, if love started for you, your angels are approving of this new relationship and this new love. Uh, now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a physical love. It could be a business. It could be a new job. Um, it could be anything to do with anything that's new in your life um, that's in a, in a uh, loving manner. Um, attraction and success in love. So like whatever you're doing at the minute, your angels are approving with this and they're telling you to go for it. Go, be, you can go as strong as you want into this relationship. You know, it may be a, a new relationship with yourself. It may be a new relationship with a diet. It may be a physical relationship. Maybe that you've just met someone, you're a bit unsure. Um, Maybe there's like some things, things from the past that are haunting you, that are holding you back. When you see the orange, know that your angels are saying just put full 100% into it. The, the, the trust is there 100%. Your angels are with you. Your angels are protecting you and that they agree with this relationship. Um, I'm just checking if there's anything more with this. Um Basically, the more subtler the colours, basically maybe saying to you that this relationship's been going on for a while, um, that you can put in a little bit more of an effort to it, but not a lot is needed because you're already there. The stronger the orange, then the more that you would put into it and the more that your angels are telling you how much they approve. Um where are we now now we've got red and brown now unfortunately i couldn't find a red and brown feather so i'm just going to do it red and brown um together i don't know whether or not that helps <laughs> um now red and brown is your spirit animal sending you healing messages so if you get if you're out and about and say you've just lost a pet um, say that you're thinking about your pet, your pet is coming through to you. I know it sounds stupid um, to most people, but if you're thinking about an animal, then that's normally your animal in spirit thinking about you. And be, be aware of things around you. So you may feel, feel like cold around your feet, um, cold next to where the, if it was like a dog, say, and um, a dog's passed away and say a dog would normally sit on your lap or it would sit next to you or if it would sit near your feet, you will feel a lot of this spirit energy around you. Um, and they just basically want you to want to let you know that they are around you and that they're very much with you. Um, now we've got brown and white. This is the best I could do with brown and white. It looks, I don't know if it looks brown or more grey than anything. Now, brown and white is saying, um, your angels are saying to be happy, um, feel happy, an energy of happiness. So for you to find the brown and white is saying that you need to suppress more happiness into your life. You need to be more positive. You need to be more um, happier within your feelings, your thoughts. You may have been bogged down for a while. You may have been put in a pit where you're sort of like, you know, you've had enough. You're tired. You're bored. You're not feeling so loved for yourself. You may be feeling like low self-worth. It's time to bring some happiness into your life. It's time to start thinking, right, today, regardless of what is going on in my life, I am going to wake up with the attitude that I'm going to be happy. Even if something comes into your life on that day, 
maybe the most smallest of thing that normally would irritate you and do your head in, change it. So say to yourself, well, okay, that's happened. Brush it off, let it go, put it to the side and be happy. Just think of a happy thought from it. Sometimes it may be saying to you to take something happy from something negative. So if something's negative, try and look at the happiness in it. Um, I, I I can't give a for instance specifically, like, but part of me thinks like, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain it really. Um, what I want to say is like on a spiritual level, so basically say if a situation's happened where... Um, you know, you've had a thought, say, of your father passing, your mother passing, um, someone else passing. Um, you know, automatically, you would automatically feel very low about this. Try and think of the happy thoughts. Try and put the happy thoughts in place. It may be work. Maybe you've had enough of work. Maybe you, you've just got no enthusiasm. You're fed up with it. Try and think of the positives. Try and go in and say, I'm not going to let this affect me today. If you're not happy with it, find a new job. But it's saying, find a happy place. Put yourself in a happy place. If you're in a situation where you're not happy, then you need to find your happy. You need to put, maybe take yourself out of a situation. New job, new home, new relationship. But find your happy. Find, put happiness into your life. Um... Ooh, and stick from my fingers <laughs> right now we've also got um gray and white now gray and white is about having hope um notice the positive changes start to happen um and ironing out all your problems so it's time to basically um you know start having different thoughts about energies around you uh, very much similar to um, the brown and white that we've just been talking about that you need to put some things in place um, you need to be able to um, change a lot of things but notice the positives so instead of just like you know changing things look at the changes look at if they're positives if the positives aren't changing and the changes aren't positive then you need to be able to address this you need to basically take a situation and make it positive notice the energies around you notice if they feel positive if they feel positive then you know they're working if they don't feel positive then make them feel positive with this again with this gray you've got a subtler gray so it's very light at the bottom and then you've got the darker grey at the top here. Now, for me, like this would mean that there's a little bit of negativity going on. There's a lot of light with this. So that means that the lighter grey is saying to you, because it's got an element of white, which is what makes the lighter grey, that there's a lot of protection around this. You need to bring this protection in. You need to remember the protection. Um address this so that basically if you're asking for protection surrounding yourself with white light uh put it in like into everything that you're doing every day and then take away the positives think about the positives if the positives feel good then keep hold of that positive and think what can i do with that positive what can i do to make that positive greater and then emphasize on that positive sit down and think right i can do this i can put this with this i can make this like this and then that positive becomes greater and what you'll find is is you'll you'll probably find more gray feathers but you'll more find them more subtler gray than what you will the darker gray um well we've got green and red now that was another feather i couldn't couldn't find unfortunately i mean these are all out of things I'm, i make feather bouquets um so basically the feathers that i've got i've used out of that and uh, unfortunately i'm limited to what i've got um green and red red is dealing with uh, finances enough money to cover what you need so if you're struggling with finances you're worried about finances maybe you've got a bill and you've just paid for one bill and you haven't got the money for another bill you your angels will send you enough money they will send you the abundance that you need to cover yourself now please you know people think that like you know when it comes to money oh i'm gonna i'm gonna win the lottery i'm gonna come into a lot of money it's not like that your angels will not send you loads of money they will only send you what you need now 
what you can do with money is you can ask your angels to send you money. You can ask them for help with money. Um, pray a lot to them. You know, ask them to be around you financially. Ask them to, um, you know, if you've got a bill that's just come through, so you've got a letter with a red, you know, outstanding bill on it. Put it on the side. Put your hands on it. And basically close your eyes and ask your angels to help you with this situation. Keep an eye out. You'll, you'll be amazed on like all of a sudden, like you, you may get to the very last minute, the very last day. And then all of a sudden you might find a scratch card. You might buy a scratch card. It will only have the money that you need. You you may may find the money that you need. Um, it, it, you know, it might just turn up on the street. You might need £20 to pay a bill. You're walking down the street, £20 all of a sudden is on the floor. But remember this bill. Don't pick up the money and think, oh, I've got £20. I can go and spend that on a load of something else. The angels have sent it to you to be able to cover what it is that you need at that time. Um, now we've got blue, white and black. Now that I couldn't do as well. So we're going to go with blue, white and black. Now, uh, change is coming with these colours. Um, be aware of consciousness of change. It can be positive, like a house move, negative, like a spouse leaving. So basically, um, if you was to like basically find a feather with the three colours, what you would normally do is look at the three colours as a separate as well as being together. So the black, as you know, that we've discussed, it's around crisis, it's around negativity. Blue is around healing, it's around Archangel Michael dealing with your problems and then we've got the white level of protection. So basically what it's saying is, is that you may have some crisis situation going on, it may be you're in a deadbeat job that you can't be bothered with anymore, you've had enough, maybe a relationship that's about to come to an end. Trust that Archangel Michael is dealing with you. He's dealing with this situation and he is putting all the fight in that he can do to support you at this time of need. And the white is a high level of protection. Um, when you, you, It's quite unrare to see these colours together, to be fair, with any feather. So you may walk down the street, um, you may see the black in one moment, you might see the blue in another moment, you might see a white in another moment. Now, it doesn't necessarily, like, you know, when people think, oh, I walk down the street, I'm going to find a blue feather this colour. It doesn't always necessarily have to be on the street. It could be in a shop window. Um, it could be a display somewhere. It could be that you've gone into somewhere, you've seen, um, like, something on display that's got the colors in it the, the feathers um basically like uh you know when you do see them as i said you need to be very aware of the black with this color because the fact that it is saying that you are in a crisis situation you're in a situation where something needs to be dealt with um on a high high level um with the blue it means that you need to put in a lot of fight to be able to deal with this and also the white means that you're protected very much whilst you're going through the situation um and then we've got black and purple. Now, unfortunately, um, I don't have any purple as such. Um, if I bring this, we have got some purple in there. So if I bring this round, I don't know if you can see the different colours. Now, we've got greens, we've got brown, we've got blue, we've got black and we've got purple. Now, at the moment, I'm only referring to the black and purple, which um, if you find anything with black and purple on feathers, it's basically telling you to be more spiritually aware, being more spiritually open and to be more psychic. Now, again, very rare to find the uh, the black and purple colours together. Uh, as you can see with this peacock feather, I mean, if you was to pick up something like this, you've got quite a lot of different levels of energies going on here. Now, a lot of people would pick up a feather and think, well, you know, how do I read this if it hasn't got all the colour spectrums on it, you know, in one go? What you would do is you would pick down the elements. So you would take out the green. The green would be healing. The brown um, would be basically stabling yourself, grounding yourself to be able to move on with this situation. Blue would be that you've got healing of Archangel Michael around you and that he was protecting you with this. 
the purple is basically saying to you you need to be more psychic more spiritually aware um so that all these other um, colors can work together the black obviously represents that there's something negative that's going on at the moment that you need to suppress all the other colors around it to be able to um, achieve your goals uh, we've also got i've also got another feather here which um i don't know if you can see it so you've got a lot of yellows and brown uh, yellows greens and blues very subtly i don't know if you can see it, you've got brown at the bottom so obviously for this color this feather you've got new beginnings with the yellow and the green means healing so it means that you would basically um, need to do a lot of healing in a situation to get new beginnings the fact that it's got the brown at the top of it means that you need to be dealing with health and stability now for me the brown is more about diet as well so it's basically dealing with the inside of the body not just the outside of the body so you need to be healing a lot of inside changing your diet more fruit veg and that a lot can give you a more positive um like feeling within your body more strength to be able to um conquer what you're doing now i have i found this lovely little feather while i was going through i don't know if you can see these but you've got the brown you've got the white you've got a little bit of green and you've also got the blue now this if you was to find it the same thing so you'd have the brown because the fact it's got a lot of brown it says that you need to do a lot of healing with yourself first the fact that it's got a little bit of green on it means that you need to be um, doing some healing but the fact that it's got a small amount of green means that it's only a tiny bit of healing you need to be able to do um, but you've got a lot of blue here so basically the blue is saying you need to do a lot of fighting a lot of mentally um, fighting with yourself maybe um, the fact that it's got the brown with it and the green means that it's more to do with the physical health so basically you need to look at your diet um with this normally you would find it with people that may be very ill with their diet they may be uh suffering with um ibs might be suffering with other tummy cramps um excuse my pun but diarrhea um health situations that need dealing and healing within the physical body now I normally change a diet cutting out things in your diet so cutting out bread cutting out cheese cutting out milk eating more green veg more uh, fruit um, more red meats um, will help to deal with this and what what you'll find is is once you start doing the changes keep an eye out for the other color feathers that are coming to you after so if you was to say like have this and then like um, you know you've changed your diet and over a couple of days you're feeling much happier you may start seeing more of the whites you may see like green and white so it's saying that you're healing um and that you're doing a, a good job with it you may find the yellows and this you know what you'll find is is that the colors will change from finding this to more subtler colors more colors that are telling you that you're on the right path um right i think well that we're done with the feathers to be fair um i hope you've enjoyed this and i hope that it's been some insight to you um if you'd like any more information you can find me on facebook at gypsy moth readings or under the name muriel swift thank you ever so much and uh, it's been nice talking to you and good night and we'll speak to you later bye